Hello everyone, good evening. So today we are going to cover another quick topic, how to export data to Excel or basically CSV from Pega. So this is one of the most commonly used requirement, okay, because now like, like when you are doing a report, okay, users wants to extract that report or when you have a grid, right, lot of data you are displaying that time users wants to extract the data. Okay, for their own purpose for future analysis or they want to share with their colleague or for anything. Okay, so this is where this is one of the most commonly used requirement. Now I have seen uh, people facing issue okay in exporting the Excel that okay this will only fetch for the first page this will fetch the whole data or not so let's say you are fetching a country list and then you have eight or ten pages of country list okay so now uh, sometimes it will just fetch the first list okay first page data not the, the remaining one okay so those things okay which will not be facing issue I'll, I'll show you today which activity we can use it it's the out of the box activity only I'll show end to end okay and this will export csv not the excel okay so if you see the challenge with excel is that you need to uh, create the format binary file basically you need to take a blank excel map the property upload it okay and and as i said that uh, i have seen few challenges like it's just fetching for the first uh, like page if you want to pull the data for all the the pages okay you need to do some extra work Okay, so for that, I think that is where Pega is also, if you see, right, in most of the places providing export to CSV, okay, and that CSV can be later uploaded as well. So if you go to the data types, okay, from any of the data types, Pega is exporting the data as a CSV and also from the history, okay. And CSV can be easily, right, opened by any users. If they want to, they can view in Excel. If they want to convert to Excel, just they can just simply save as, as .excel, okay. So let's see and, and uh, how we can do that. Okay. So as I said, right, Pega is providing these options in the export data from any data types or from the history. So I'll be taking the reference of the history and from there only I'll start off. Okay. So let's say I have this case open. So I'll simply go and open the history because here you can see that Pega have already provided an options to download that. Okay. So we'll be using the same activity. We'll be modifying the data a little bit and I'll show you. Okay. So what we can do is, okay, we'll do live UI and open this section so here i can see that okay so here i can see that that pega is calling a script in this one script okay in the first script it's passing the class and the activity name and then the activity okay so let's open this activity and see what this activity does py export history okay so if i come here okay so first pega is setting few parameters and then the they're calling this one this activity px convert results to csv so this is this activity is the the main activity which will do the job it will export in csv and it takes few parameter and it is there in the base class so that means we can use it or call it from anywhere okay so anywhere means that like once you're calling from anywhere you just need to pass the class here and then you need to refer the class like this and then it will work if you're using um let's say if you're using in your class only then maybe here you don't have to give a reference but here still you need to give I'll, I'll show you so what we can also do is the first thing is that and and what i want to export today is i have kind of a created in this case only in the bottom if you see that here right this is the cases list okay so this is what i want to export and you can see that it has two pages okay so when i'll export i should see at the both pages data and i'll add the download button okay so i have already created and for this one okay it's a simple d underscore loan list and then it has a few attributes which i have mapped in this one in the table okay so now from here i want to export the data so the first thing which i'll be doing is okay let's go step by step is that simply copy this grid and paste it in your section paste it so now our first part is done now we need to modify the activity and we need to create one activity okay we need to create one activity to support our export data okay so let's go back again and see what this activity takes as a parameter so if we see csv properties okay so csv properties list as csv or property as a columns in csv okay so basically like what all things you want to fetch the name of the property which holds the value okay so if you come here here like like py id py level 
py create op name and py uh, px created by okay or px create date time okay so that is what is that list of properties okay now the second important is that csv property type let's uh, let me csv property type in the same order okay so the property type also we can give but it is not required okay in the same order we need to give okay type also we can give and then page list property okay which page list you, we want to fetch okay and then csv prop header so we are not going to give this one this is this obviously if you can give it like a text type or the date time and, and other things you can give it okay but we are skipping for now what all parameter we are, we are using or the pega is also using here you can see that okay the important one is csv properties so px time created by py performer py masses key and py memo so these are the attribute which we want to fetch okay and what are the headers we are going to give is that for px time created we are going to give time created py performer we are giving performer and then py masses so for that we are giving masses and py memo memo so basically you need to give the same number of a value okay if you have csv properties 5 then you should give the column name also 5 and the same if you want to give the property types also you need to give in the same order and then same number also you need to give then you need to give the file name okay so let's say case data or the history data okay then if you want to append timestamp okay then you can just set this parameter to true okay pega is not doing that pega is, is creating here in a different way okay and the most important thing is that from which page list you want to export the data okay so here we are going to use the database pega is also using the database so i'll also be using the database dot px result let's say you have uh, here a database dot you have so many other page list property that also you can give and then on that page list okay or that data page you need to call this activity and then it will do the job so let's let's do that okay uh, let's create um, so I have already done that okay but I'll save as that okay or you can see that export data so I have not modified much okay as I said that I have already a d underscore loan list okay so if I'll run what it returns me okay if I'll simply run it will return me all this 67 list of cases and these are the attribute which it is returning so we can see that so these attributes we can map it okay we can give comma separated so here if you see right let's come back here in this export data what I have done parameter csp property so i'm saying that i want to export py id i want to export py label px create op name and px create date type this is my page list property okay and then i'm saying the file name should be case data okay if you want to give anything you can give and then py append timestamp i'm saying true if i'm saying false then it will obviously not add and then csb prop headers is the case id subject px created by and created on so exactly i'm giving the same count okay you can you can like kind of a read this activity okay and there are like few other attributes also or or the property right which you can or the parameter basically you can try to understand that what it is doing okay but i did the basics one okay uh, that simply properties and then page list property file name okay and then uh, this csv header okay so there are like few other attributes csv file modes and few other things which you can read okay and 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 do some more poc okay but this one will do the basic poc now let's try to call this activity okay from our uh, section so as you can see that in the case list i just copied that one okay and it brought everything here uh, the conditions already auto came if you want to always you can just remove that conditions visibility conditions okay just i am telling you this is a very basic thing and then in the action now we want to update the activity okay so if you see the our activity is there in my work class so then i need to copy this one if you do not copy okay and and you leave it like that then you might face issue so that is where we'll update the this one and then here uh, we'll update export data export data and then here i'll give export data that's it okay so see it's very simple okay so it's already there in the page in the pega okay it's out of the box activity only i'm just showing in this video that how we can use that one okay now done our job is done now let's refresh our ui and see if you can see the download button So we can see that now I clicked see case data and then this came okay now if I go and um, say false right just to show you okay false then it won't add 
and the timestamp in the file. So let's refresh and again click on that. See case data. So let's open this folder and we have it this too. So you can see that right it's there in the CSV format okay and simply go and open in Excel and then you can see the data like what we see in Excel right. So it's just simple and if you see when I ran the data page the total record was 67. So let's see if you have 67 records or not okay. So see 67 record is coming and then one row the first row is the header. So we have the data okay the all data all the pages data. Now you can see this This is where the this created on right. Um, so it's coming in a different format. So maybe if you want to format that I think that is where this parameter can be leveraged. Okay. Uh, this one. Let's go to parameter CSB property types. Okay. So maybe this one can be leveraged to format the data as well. So that you can do uh, some some POC if you want. Okay. Otherwise we can see the data came okay whatever we were looking okay now this can be used as a uh, excel as well but if you want to do the same thing in the excel maybe you have to do little more work you need to as i said create a separate uh, like blank sheet and then excel and then up uh, like write the property names here property reference number uh, name and then upload it as a binary file and then out of the box activity use pass the file name but this is a little bit easier one okay so you can definitely use in your project so that's it this is what i wanted to uh, show you okay so uh, try uh, in your poc or if you're in your live project and if you face any issue please let me know i can help you with this one so that's it thank you thank you very much have a good day bye